Kingpin was recently buffed, so because of that, I am dusting off a super old deck that I posted on Reddit a year ago. This is the original version. I, of course, have made some updates because new cards have been released, and we will get into what the deck looks like now. The basic plan is to kind of annoy our, our opponent. We have a lot of control cards, cards that dictate exactly where they can play. And so some of those are reactive, some of those are proactive, and you can reposition your own cards, you can reposition your opponent's cards, you can clog them in certain lanes. Arrow is a very unexpected card, along with Stegron, matter of fact. We have Shang-Chi for a little bit of uh, overcoming some of our opponent's power, but otherwise, let's just dive into some games. Okay, we have Griffin. Bar with no name. Play Kingpin. Play Kingpin right. Since Stegron ships things left, it would have been fantastic if Bar with no name were middle or right. We will play Craven middle. This is shaping up kind of nicely. It appears they have their own kingpin. I will snap and I will slide their kingpin middle. And then I will stegron it back. A nice mirror match we have going on. Play stegron here. Let's see whose deck is better. Nice, I get to... Uh, Nocturne does not clog. Oh, and bar with no name. Yeesh. Right. Vision. They have Nocturne, though. Boy, this is... I don't have Nocturne, by the way. The Juggernaut is tempting. Who knows what is going to happen here. I could try to Sean this lane as well. Do I play the Juggernaut? I have priority. Nightcrawler, Cloak, and Juggernaut? Of course you slide the Nocturne. But also... Playing Juggernaut may actually do us good. Let's see. Split it to... Uh-oh. Does that matter? <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I will add in an editor's note if Magneto had went middle, if that would have mattered, because we were fully filled. Uh, but yeah, fantastic gamble <laughs> our uh our slight mirror deck was better than theirs this game okay next up we have win kate hit our vision that's no fun our our, our hand isn't great i think i just get down the cloak now and try to get my vision out early or on time on turn five turn three that can they beat me on turn three play miles here let's see if they would have beat the four power they wouldn't have I think I play Gene. They're not going to be able to beat... I don't think they can get enough power middle this turn. Oh, if they have... They could have a uh, call. We'll roll the dice. If this is call... Man. I called it and still... Ugh... Move it with Era? I'm afraid to snap. Let's see. Let's see what they do. So we move the cull over. 
Okay, we both have seven energy. Okay, never mind. They have seven energy. John takes out all left. So they can play a stone and something large. So I think if I play John here. No, I'm, I'm fully expecting them to play a stone left and a six cost card somewhere else. If they play a bunch of tiny stuff, then I just lose. So I think I just win all three lanes. Victory. So that was that was the play. Force them, of course, to play their first card in the gene lane, which means it's either going to be a large card or a stone. The smart play is probably to play a stone here and play a larger card. Maybe to nowhere, so you can't get Sean, Sean, but maybe they also do the unexpected route and play their large card middle. So by winning all lanes, we're only up to middle, we're only up to right. We're up by a lot left because of the Sean. We have priority, so we know it's going to connect. So even if they play their large card here and a smaller card here, a power stone would have beat me, but I was willing to roll roll the dice on that. They still have a lot of cards in their deck. They only played one stone. So it's not like they drew through a lot of their deck. So we were in a we were in a very good position to stay. Especially for only an additional cube. Next up we have seven. Avengers compound on five. Now I need to think all the way down to turn five. I think I play Nightcrawler here. Next turn, I'm thinking I play Craven middle or right, but I also could play him left and then play Cloak on turn three. I'm not sure. Stegron. I, I'll play Craven middle. I will either Stegron or Juggernaut left. You can really mess with certain decks. They do have a Deadpool avatar, so maybe it's a destroy deck. It is not. It is wonderful mill. Boy, how I love mill. <laughs> Lechagia. Do I play... I think I just play Cloak middle. I'm... Uh, yeah, I didn't want to ruin my Juggernaut. I might want to save him. Oh, nice. That is snap worthy right there. That is very snap worthy. Especially because I can move Vision, because he's down early, into the Craven lane. Get that buff. I can move him out, and then I can. I'm, I'm just gonna Sean middle. So we will Stegron here. Next turn, I will Juggernaut in all likelihood. They are staying. Cable is a nice hit middle. They use their Sean, no problem. Clear the takeoff. And now we have priority. Uh, I, my, my suspicion on turn five always goes to Dr. Octopus. Now they're locked to playing him here, so I could Juggernaut. I think I move my vision. I could also play Gene. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to really control what they can do. We know they can only play to this lane. And Gene locks them in. I have Sean. So let's let's go this way. Okay, full build. Wow. They full build. <laughs> that was unexpected. They played Miles last. So let's see what I want to do. I could move Nightcrawler. Oh, that's not enough power. Let's see. What do I want to do? I can Sean middle. What do they have? A Hulk? So if I play Kingpin here, do I abandon left? Play Kingpin here, Sean here, and move both of my cards over here? 
We are the future. Nice. Pulled it off. So we just went ahead and abandoned left. We know we have Sean to win middle. And this is perfect. Uh, this is one of those times where my testing was going kind of rocky. But now that I'm recording, it's going fantastic. So you really get to see how this deck shines. This is a heavy disruption deck, but also we kind of are too. With Gene, Craven, Kingpin, Stegron, and Sean. Arrow, we haven't gotten to play her yet. Juggernaut, of course, and Polaris. We have a lot of disruption on our own as far as positioning our opponent's cards. This just worked out fantastic. They did get, that's why they were able to fulfill. I always forget the card Cable stole. I'm like, why is Miles Morales Spider-Man in, in their deck? That is why. And they were able to use them since we were moving around. Their cards. And we were still able to overpower them in the lanes that matter. Okay, we're up against Ramac. Fix. Nightcrawler here. See if we can't get our bonus early. We cannot. Do I go Kingpin or Craven? I think I go Craven. Use up my maximum amount of energy. Collector. So they can. Oh, I can actually scoot him out now. So I'll play both in the same lane, actually. We will double dip. Play Stegron left. We actually had priority. So Craven and Kingpin, the master team. Valentina is the last card played. And I have priority, so I could use Arrow. I think I play slow. I snap because I like the position I'm in. Next turn, five energy. Next turn, I will have six energy, so I could play Arrow and Juggernaut. This should allow me to keep... Hopefully. Oh. Entry and what else? Blob, okay. I need Sean. Where are they going to play? Let's see. Where do I make them play? I could make them play somewhere. Maybe I make them play middle? Or maybe that doesn't work out? And I play Juggernaut here? But I really need to Sean. Okay. What the heck is this? Do I draw into Sean? Sadly, I do not. What was the last? The last card they played was Cannonball. They have priority. Ugh, I can't do that. Actually, it'll be whatever the next card they play is. But if it is Annihilus... Oh, which they... Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Wait. Check the blob. Okay. So they probably have Annihilus in hand. And if that is the case, sending over the 8, we're at negative 4, negative 2, 7. They go up to... Mm, I needed Sean. Or I should have played... Retreat later. I should have played Juggernaut. I shouldn't have saved Escaped. them. I should have played Spider-Man and Juggernaut. It would have moved both the Sentry and Blob somewhere else. And I would have gotten my buffs. So that was that was my mistake that game. I lost this game. I think it was turn four. That's when I lost the game. Okay, next up is Box Devil. Necrotia. Part of me wants to play Craven there, but I won't because I will play Jean Grey there. So Craven middle. Oh 
Okay, they get one of my moving cards. Hopefully it's not Vision. Oh, Kingpin is nice. But sadly, I cannot get him down. He would have been nicer on turn one. Because I really want to prioritize the control elements of Jean Grey. They have priority. So I think I Stegron instead. Okay. Get the White Widow down. That's not bad. Polaris. Okay. No Juggernaut. That is unfortunate. I think I go fishing for... I think I go fishing for, uh... Vision. Thirsty play. Do I not have any cards in my deck? The top card. Oh, okay. Okay, we fished for Vision and we found Vision. I have priority. Sean is very nice. I have no cards in my deck. So I think it's just win all three lanes. So just get Kingpin down and Sean and call it a day. Because how do they win all three lanes? Winning left is difficult because this is Necrotia. So they might just throw left think they have middle one because of Gladiator. And maybe they roll for something in Quantum Tunnel. They have four cards in their hand. So even something like Doc Ock, yeah, they're, they are hard pressed on how to win this game. Even how they win left. And I'm already winning right. So in that case, middle doesn't even matter. So they are taking the full timer. And there we go. Yeah, they, they really had to consider it, and there was just no no avenues for them to win all three lanes, or even two lanes probably, but they had to win all three lanes because we were going to Sean Middle. Okay, next up we are against Gab Lopez. We have our control cards right on curve. Okay, they took that away from us. Oh. And to miniaturize lab, are you kidding me? Uh, that means Stegron is completely ineffective. Ugh. Play Craven here. Otherwise, I would have played Craven right. And just set up for the Stegron. Fastos? turned into a Fastos gameplay. Did you really get... Oh, you had Fastos in your deck. Okay. Uh, getting a turn four vision is super nice. Uh, what did they play last? The Kyera? I have priority. So I could play the Arrow... Play arrow here? Do I snap on this? What deck is this? Should I be expecting an Ultron, maybe? I'm afraid of the Ultron. Okay, so we fulfilled. Yeah, this is almost definitely an Ultron play. I have priority. So do I play Omega Red here? And I'm actually up by more... What, what, what is the... This is plus one. So three. Three, six, nine, twelve. So this almost assuredly wins. But they do have Fastos. So let's play... Let's play this in a different order just to... 
just to mess with them. Quinjet, Miles, Omega. So Omega gives me the... What in the world? Okay, can you get 21 there? Okay. Uh-oh. Can you get 20 there? <laughs> Let's find out. You cannot. Fantastic. So we we got to use Arrow to fully clog a lane, eliminate some of their options. Miniaturized Lab, especially being in the middle, is just very harmful for this deck, as you got to see. We got to le leverage some of our Triskelion cards. Bastos came in kind of clutch, letting me get down an early vision, so that was nice. Uh, Triskelion with the Omega Red buff. Did that really matter? Probably not. Since I won the middle by four, I could have played anything left to win there. Nice win. So here's the deck once again. You got to see, I think you got to see all of our control aspects during this gameplay. You got to see how effective all of the cards were, which are fantastic. This deck can be used to annoy your opponents, clog lanes, dictate where they play, and you have a lot of control over the game, even if you don't have a lot of power. 